Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree video. So today we're going to be covering the best antivirus softwares. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So of course, uh, for those wondering, what exactly is an antivirus software? And how can it benefit me? Now, an antivirus software is a great way to keep your PC running and away from any malware or Trojan type viruses. Now, without using an antivirus software, you can compromise your personal information, your data, and even your bank account details. As well as that, any sensitive information can fall into the wrong hands if you get hacked by a virus. Or, of course, if a virus comes in through your uh, computer or your PC, through all the files that you've downloaded or any images, anything like that, uh, that can compromise your PC. So, with benefits, how can it actually benefit you? Well, as we've stated, it's pretty much just to get you protected from any of the malware, of course, and just to protect you uh, with any files that are underlying within your system. Of course, these antivirus softwares scan through every file that's in your computer and keeps you updated constantly. You can also choose to do a... Um, you can also choose to do a basically like a clickable or um, an automatic sorry uh, update if you wanted to or you can update it manually yourselves so there's other options in order to keep your pc running and these antivirus uh, antivirus softwares are a great way and a great item to have within your pc so what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the uh, antivirus softwares that may be available to you and of course uh, within the selection that I have these are just a few of the examples of course feel free to trial out other different antivirus softwares out there and make sure that you check the reviews and go through the plans just to make sure that it's within your budget as well as that um, see what features it, it has uh, in order or see what features it has basically on what type of protection it offers. So anyway, we'll go ahead and start off with our first antivirus software. So our first one is Norton. Now, everybody knows about Norton. It's one of the most popular antivirus softwares out there. Uh, as I've said here, it's a very popular and well-known antivirus. Uh, it's been developed over decades and Norton Antivirus Plus uh, is the best you can get from how it's evolved. Now, it passes all the checklists as well and gets pretty much all the perfect scores. Uh, it's got a, well, its firewall protects against both outside attacks and unfortunately within as well. Now, however, the only issue I've seen with Norton is that it doesn't actually come with a multi-device protection. So depending if this bothers you, then I wouldn't go for Norton. Um, but of course, if you're not too bothered about how it not having a multi-device protection, then by all means, go ahead and select this first antivirus uh, that we have. Now, what I want to actually look at is some of the pros and cons with Norton. So, uh, starting off with the pros, it's got an enhanced My Norton uh, dashboard. So, it's always good to have a great a dashboard to assist you with pretty much any updates that you need to do uh, for checking any of the malware that's going through or hopefully not um, but anyway the next one there is it's got a data protector uh, fail uh, ransom or foil uh, ransom um, ransomware attacks sorry so that's very handy as well to have you also have an online backup enabled as well so of course if there's any issues, then you would have a, back, a backup within the cloud. And you also get some bonus security features. Now, I have pointed out some of the cons, which is that the software itself is actually very expensive. Well, not, not too expensive, uh, but compared to the other ones that you can uh, choose with the features as well, uh, I would consider Norton to be one of the most expensive ones out there. Purely just because of, uh, since it's a, a well-known antivirus software you can use and what I've noticed as well is that it actually has a per phishing test score so that's one of the downfalls to using Norton 
And of course, uh, another reasoning as well is that it has no multi-license pricing. So uh, that's one of the issues with it as well. And the other one that we've seen is no multi-devices. So of course, if that does bother you, I wouldn't go for Norton. And since with the expenses as well, it can be expensive. Um, of course, you could do a trial run if you wanted to just before you go ahead with Norton. So that's what's great about using the antiviruses. Uh, but anyway, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and move on to our next antivirus software. So our next one here is the Sophos Home Premium. Now, for those uh, that don't really know uh, Sophos, it is actually fairly known for its good antivirus software. Uh, Sophos Home is run pretty much by an IT team that works remotely. So Sophos tries to bring you that same remote management as well. Now, you can also, so once you've pretty much inst um, got the package for uh, Sophos, so you would have your um, antivirus, of course, you can go ahead and pretty much copy that file and put it on multiple devices. And you can also have a dashboard on some of the uh, devices you can monitor. Uh, it's also great for some businesses as well that needs uh, an IT management um, sorting out pretty much. Uh, also, of course, as well as that, there's Sophos so Home, which is what we're covering here. And that means you can pretty much uh, install it for friends, family, and pretty much just do it from the comfort of your own home. So that's what's great about doing it remotely or having a uh, antivirus um, software that you could do remotely. Now, it did score as well uh, with the malware protection earning at least 100% for defending against malware. So that's uh, a bonus as well for it. But what we'll do is we'll actually take a look at some of the pros and cons. So here are some of the pros and cons for using the Sophos Home Premium. Now with the pros, I've noticed that it is a very inexpensive antivirus software. So this is something you can consider as an individual or a business. Now it also has an app management system. So this is the multiple devices as well. Uh, protects ransomware, keyloggers and exploits and remotely manages up to at least 10 PCs or Macs. Now what's the cons? So advanced features means uncommon tech expertise. So of course it's great that it has advanced, uh, advanced features but the problem to that is that since not much people have trained for it, it can be a little bit hard to actually get through it. So, of course, that's what I meant with the tech expertise. Now, it scored a 50-50 with the phishing test score as well. So, that's okay. It is it is a con still since it's a 50-50 pass score with the phishing test. And also what I've seen is that the parental control and webcam protection is limited. So, that's something to note as a parent. Now, moving on to our next one, which is McPhee. Uh, so it is one of the oldest antivirus programs on the market. So you may have seen this about as well, especially if you're going through the t technology store uh, and then you've got these packages. Mc uh, McAfee was, uh, would be one of them. Now, um, it's pretty much provided the best antivirus solution for at least three decades. You're able to extend your device protections through it, other devices um, through your, um, rather than your own, sorry, with uh, McAfee. And this antivirus lets you install security software on every Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS device within your household. Now, I have noticed as well that there is an issue. So if you are a Mac user, you may want to look somewhere else. Now, this is great for any of the Windows users as well. Um, for a Mac user, I would completely avoid this. It's more the fact that some of the Mac malware protections are pretty much untested. So that's one of the reasons why I would avoid it. So anyway, moving through, we're going to go ahead and check out the pros and cons. So here we are with the pros and cons. So starting off with the pros, uh, it's security for Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS devices. So of course, it's, a, it's an all-rounder. It's got virus protection pledge, protection center, meaning better security. Now, of course, with the cons, it's very slow uh, with scanning for Windows. Highly do not recommend it. Uh, for any of the Mac users as it's untested and lacks features on like Windows. The antivirus um, missed one modified ransomware sample. And as well as that, um, there's several long-standing features slated for removal. So I have tested this. Um, it did actually miss one 
uh, modified ransomware sample, which is not good. Of course, if it passes through, then um, that's your PC kaput. You know, you you would rather have a very safe uh, antivirus to use. But other than that, it's still a decent, um, I would say, uh, antivirus system or software to use. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll move on to our next one. So if some of you are aware about Malwarebytes, of course, there is a free version to this and it's pretty much just a disk cleanup as well. Uh, but they do offer a Malwarebytes premium and pretty much the premium offers a full scale antivirus software and scanning on demand as well as on schedule and as well as file access. Now, the scanning is very, very fast as well on this. It uh, also has real-time protection, including behavior-based detection, ransomware activity detection, and protection against exploit attacks. So as I said, it's probably one of those ones that you've already covered through. Um, even Mac users or Windows users, you want to do some disk cleanup. You want to uh, remove some of the files that you didn't need. So you may have used the free version. They do also have a premium version, which is, of course, the antivirus software. Anyway, we'll go ahead and check out the pros and cons. So as you can see with malware bytes, the pros and cons here. So with the pros, it's got a high score on the malware protection test. It's got a speedy full scan. Uh, includes exploit uh, protection, ransomware protection, behavior based protection, and it's got a high scoring in phishing and malicious URL blocking sites. Now, the only only uh, thing that I've seen that's a con is that it's got some low scores when it was tested in some areas, and this is within the actual antivirus protection uh, itself on Go. But other than that, with the amount of pros that you get to it, I would recommend to use malware bytes. So folks, that is pretty much the end of the video. Now, as I've said, there are plenty of different malware or antivirus protection software systems out there that you can purchase or use for free. Of course, just be wary about what you're looking through. Um, these are some of the ones that I would recommend uh, purely just because of the name as well and some of the features and protection it does offer. Uh, but other than that, of course, if there is ones that I've missed and you want me to cover, then by all means, let us know in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, I'll see you for the next video. Thank you very much.